brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Senator Therese Terlahi breaking her silence today, saying the controversial Democratic caucus that resulted in her being ousted from legislative leadership was a hard pill to swallow. Terlahi, the top senatorial vote-getter, lost her bid for speaker to returning Senator Tina Munia Barnes. It's disappointing. It's absolutely disappointing. And uh, I was really, you know, hoping it would go my way. The island buzzing about the Democratic caucus results, which were leaked late last year, but the official announcement came the Friday before inauguration. I've been really uh, blessed with a lot of encouragement that no matter what, you just move forward and, you know, you, you do what you went in there to do and don't let anybody deter you from that, and that's really been my goal anyways. In a Democratic Party release touting the selection of Munya Barnes as speaker, Barnes said no one becomes speaker without the trust of their colleagues. What's important to me is that the people of Guam seem to trust me, and so I'm, I'm just going to go with that. And what of Speaker Barnes' assertion that Terlahi moved out of the Guam Congress Hall because she wanted a bigger office? I don't recall ever saying that was the reason that I moved out. The former acting speaker of the 34th Guam Legislature says her critical approach to senatorial work is something she takes seriously. But in some cases, that approach may have rubbed her colleagues the wrong way. I hope that they will just make their decisions moving forward based on merit, based on what the issue is in front of us, and not personalities, not politics. And that's, that's really what I'm hoping for. I tell them straight out what it is that I'm thinking and how, you know, what my opinions are on things. So they're not going to be blindsided and they know where I'm coming from. Terlahi, one of the few opposition voices at the close of the 34th Guam legislature, which saw a flurry of special interest bills hit the session floor. I don't like it if we prioritize special interests over, over things that have been, you know, plaguing the government for years. That's one of the reasons I ran. While Terlahi said she's been called an obstructionist by her colleagues, she tells KUAM News that her supporters tell her, just do you. They seem to like that I ask questions and they seem to like that um, I'm not afraid to stand up for them when, even if I'm alone. And so I feel very good about that. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.